all familiar with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his efforts in fighting discrimination and bigotry and his marches that brought attention to those issues. But some of you may not realize one of those marches took place right here in Greenville. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan has the story of Dr. King's rare visit. Dave's live in Greenville at the site where it all happened. Dave. And it happened right here at 400 Augusta Street. That is the site of the Clawson Bakery building, but it's what happened inside that building during the 1960s that brought Dr. King to town. A historical marker now stands where Dr. Martin Luther King once stood in support of Black Clawson's bakery workers who were being treated unfairly and paid lower wages, an issue Dr. King repeatedly addressed. People forget that his speech was about was about workers' rights and about economic disparity and about the um, and about the check uh, uh, that came back null and void because we did not treat people fairly. And so this is exciting. King's visit to Greenville was covered in local media, but the march was not. It was forgotten history until Councilwoman Fleming told Steve Navarro, one of the owners of the old Clausen's Bakery building, about it. Navarro also heard from people in the community whose relatives worked there. Some were positive stories, some weren't so positive, but it all part of the community that they grew up in. A decision was made to install a marker commemorating King's visit. How's it going, bro? Reverend Jesse Jackson, a Greenville native and close confidant of King's, was instrumental in organizing the visit. He spoke at today's event. These men and women worked real hard. And the blacks were down but not afraid. Men, the whites were on top, but they were afraid. Clearly, when Horace and the men began to rise, everybody rose. We all rose together. A message Greenville Mayor Knox White says should not be forgotten. I thank all those who, who made it possible and for telling the story because a story must be told again and again and again. And black and white, young and old, all came out today to attend the unveiling of this marker, which, by the way, was paid for by private donations. We are live tonight in Greenville. Dave Jordan, 7 News.